Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excel for Construction Professional series. So in this episode, we are going to be getting practical. So I'm going to walk all throughout to create a simple bill of quantity using Microsoft Excel. You know, we'll set up a neat BOQ format together and we are going to use formulas to do automatic calculations. So let's jump right in. So what is a BOQ? A BOQ, which is the bill of quantity, is a document used in construction which shows us in details the items of work to be carried out for that particular construction project. Now it is going to give a detailed explanation of the work done, it is going to give us the quantity, the unit, the rate and the total cost for each work item of which the summation of all of these will give us the contract sum after some adjustment. So it helps constructors estimate cost, track spending and prepare bids. And yes, Excel is the perfect tool to create and manage a bill of quantity. So now this is a blank Excel sheet and we are starting from scratch. Now when you open your Excel, you first see you know our colon and our rows and our cell where we impute our data as established in the first video. So now every BOQ need six columns, which is first, which is the item number or serial number. The second one which is the description, the third one which is the quantity, the fourth one which is the unit like our meter square, cubic meter and the likes, our rate and our amount and we all know that our amount is what quantity times rate. So now let's create this. So now we are having here our first column which is item number or serial number which is SN. So let's start with the first one which is item item number then on the second for our second column you know we are going to have our description on our third column we are going to have our quantity on our fourth column our unit on our fifth column our rate our sixth column the amount now once you do all of this i will advise you to go to your insert sorry go to your view click on page break now it's going to do something like this to you then click on normal now you are going to see this dotted line here as you see this dotted line this dotted line we've crossed and this dotted line this signify one page now this other part now is now second page now this will help you to know because when we pay bill of quantity you know that our item number is in alphabet when to start the alphabet again that is when you enter another page and when you to do some total for the first page so now after realizing that okay our first page shouldn't pass here what's the next thing that we should do we should try to you know adjust all of this properly so for your item number you can shift it from here since it's majorly just alphabet that will be there you know reduce it your description will be large now you can bring it here you can see we've not exceeded so let's increase the the description a little bit our amount to our figures will be large okay so let's reduce our description a little bit so that we can increase our rate then okay let's increase our rate i think it's fair like this so now to properly format this you can highlight this and Go to your home tab if you want to put it in the center middle or line like this you can just put it here mm -hmm. so this is it is in the middle now if you want to do all form of you know formatting to all of this you can do it whatever type of format if you want to make the background colorful you know play around whatever one you want it's up to you so if you want to make the background colorful this is where you come to but now, how are we going to create our 
lines for our columns so you can just easily for this i like all of this come here bottom borders under your borders you click on it now they have a bottom border now for this one you want your uh, right your left border same thing to your, your left border you don't need to go back since that's what you did last your left border your left border your left border your left border and you might also want to add a right border to this so this is how it is going to look like let's increase our unit a little two bit okay so this is what it's going to do and remember you can always make the header bold increase your font size increase your row height if you want to increase your row height just come here you know you can bring it down a little bit you can do it for this and the rest whichever one you want to do you, know, you can just play around it Let's now let's say after typing all of what you want to type you put in your quantities from your measurement and you put in your rate from your estimation you can also prepare your estimation using excel we'll also talk about that in one of our video so now this column now which is our amount we want to do this column which is our amount so how are we going to go about it so now we know our amount is our quantity times rate so let's just do equals to this now shift your asterisk sign which is which is shift eight times then you click on this enter it brings in automatically so rather than just doing this continuously again you just you know auto fill and you drag up to this point now you can leave this like this or you can just always delete it whichever one you want so now at the end of a page now you can see that this line is showing end of a page so there should be collection you know you should close this so click on it go to your home tab and your bottom border because it's bottom of that cell then yeah you can click on to collection so, collection so your collection will be equals to now let's use some some open your bracket now I like everything here so in case in future you had amount to this it will automatically reflect mm -hmm. can you see so if you want to make this in a number I like it from this top and click on you can come here come down here you're going to see naira on that symbol here so you come here and you look for i think ausa or so there should be uh, any of this and you reflect automatically so if you want it to be in two decimal place you put it and also you will close your cell so here to bottom cell so that is closed already so now you type it again for your second page you know you type everything put your rates and everything and you continue same thing here equals to this times this enter then you highlight it now this is the end of the page you highlight it then you can delete what you want this dotted line that you want to delete Now, after the same process, bottom border to close it, and you can see we are coming to the end of a page. So you can just come down here and put your to collection, then equals to same thing, equals to sum. Open your bracket. I like all of this here. Just in case, remember this is where you stop this time around. Enter. Then your 
bottom border under it so now if you do this for each page you can choose to do it sub structure first you know framework first all of that then in your total when you are doing your total you bring it so now let's say it is something like sub structure now for your sub structure your total you can just come here now let's say your sub structure was this to say it just be equals to then you just do this plus you go up to the page collection that was for substructure you click on it then it reflects simple so you do that for substructure you also do the same thing for frames for each page that frame was on you do it for your roof and you get your boq summary so let's say you want to add your vat so now let's say add vat you know you can put it for yeah 7.5 percent okay so let's say 7.5 percent 7.5 percent you can just put it at this front here 7.5 percent you know So yeah, you just seven point five over hundred is zero point zero seven five. So you just come here. You can just do your seven point five percent directly. You know, you just do equals to seven point five percent of this. Let's assume this is the total contract sum, and it brings this out. Then when you want to add, so let's say contract sum now. So you can just come here equals to this plus this you click and also if you want to put your bottom border and your now this since this is the contract and we can come here and look for bottom double border and you see it to be two so just like that so the same way we did it here you also do it for your frame then you do it in your project summary and all of that and remember you can always type the way you want you know if you don't want to make your bold you can come here on bold it if you want to make it slant just use all of this for proper formatting so how will you save it as usual your control s to save then you save it wherever you want to save it to so let's save it here now if you are to print it out now let's print control p to print now you see when you are printing it out here it is automatically on one page you can see to collection you don't need to adjust but now let's preview now you can see we have an extra page so to avoid this before you print come to your view page break view now confirm okay we need page three but we don't need page four so what are you going to do either you extend page three or you just close it and you see you have just three pages so now when you print now the importance of how we did it from the beginning is that you don't need to fit it to any page you'll be able to print it directly so from here and remember you always print it to pdf before you send to your client or wherever you want to send it to so once you get here the next thing you will do is click on print to pdf and you click on print so let's see how it will look like after printing so where should we save it let's save it here okay so it's saved now let's look let's open it and see how it will look like so after printing it to pdf this is what it looks like so if you are not comfortable with how it looks you can always adjust it while typing it before you print it out so once you do this you can just save this as a template and you know you just change the quantities and rate and excel will always undo the rest and you know remember to always convert to pdf before sending it to your client so let's Put that and save the template so that's how to create a basic boq in excel 
you know fast clean and functional so in the next video we'll look at how to set up a material and labor schedule you know to track what's happening on your site if this has helped you don't forget to like share and subscribe remember more practical tips are on the way if you have any questions drop them in the comments below see you next time cheers